invisible cargo. There is a place on the mainland known as the Steelworks. And at the Steelworks lives five engines. One of the engines is named Merlin. Merlin is an experimental prototype King Arthur class stealth engine who can turn invisible. One day, Merlin was sent to the island of Sodor to pick up a special cargo from random docks and bring it to the museum. Oh, this is so exciting! I can't believe I'm finally going to the island of Sonar! When Merlin got to the docks, Cranky was unloading the special cargo. Fizzly fireboxes! That cargo is invisible! Like me! Okay, Merlin, you must be very careful with this cargo, because this is the only one ever made. Don't worry, uh... What's your name again? Cranky. Don't worry, Cranky. I will make sure nothing happens to the invisible cargo, and I will get to the Sonar Museum as fast as possible. Okay, first off, one, it's Sodor, and two, do you even know the way to the Sodor Museum? Uh, no, I don't. Well, I don't know the way either, but I do know that you have to go to Napper Station to get there. Thanks, Cranky. I'm pretty sure someone else can help me from there. And Merlin set off. When Merlin got to Napford, Thomas was waiting there. Oh, there's Thomas. Maybe he can help me. Invisibility! On sh Invisibility! Off sh <coughs> Ah! Hello again! Oh, Merlin, it's you. What are you doing here? I'm here to take this invisible cargo to the Sonar Museum. And I don't know the way, so can you help me get there? Okay, first off, one, it's Sodor, and two, I'll be glad to help you get there. Besides, I have to drop some passengers off at the museum as well. Well then, let's go! Thank you for helping me. You're welcome, Merlin. I'm always happy to help one of my experimental engine friends. Thomas and Merlin came to a junction. Hey Merlin, I know a shortcut to get to the museum faster. Is it bumpy? No. Will it hold my weight? Yes. Can it in any possible way destroy the invisible cargo? It's absolutely positively safe. Well then, take me to the shortcut. Sure thing, Merlin. <laughs> The shortcut went right to the marshland. See, Merlin, I told you it was safe. Then there was trouble. Huh? <gasps> Merlin, stop! Mrs. Cow is blocking your line. <gasps> oh, no! Merlin braked as hard as he could. He stopped just in time. Visible cargo did. <gasps> no! Curse you, Mrs. Cow! <gasps> Cargo, it's ruined. Mrs. Cow, Mrs. Cow, where are you, Mrs. Cow? Oh, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. What happened here? 
It's an emergency! The invisible cargo that I was supposed to take to the sonar museum fell in the mud. Can you please give Ryan and Jerome for us? Please? Don't worry, Thomas. I'll get Ryan and Jerome after I put Mrs. Cow back in her corral. Okay, Mrs. Cow. Back you go. So, what's the emergency? My invisible cargo that I was supposed to take to the sonar museum fell in the mucky mud. Okay, first off, one, it's Seldor, and two, don't worry, man, I'll get it f out faster than you can say lickety split. Okay, lickety split. Not literally. I knew that. Got. Oh dear, the invisible cargo. It isn't invisible anymore. Don't worry, Merlin. I bet Flynn can give it a quick hose down to clean it off. Good idea, Thomas. Uh, who's Flynn? A fire truck on rails! A fire truck on rails? What will they think of next? So Thomas and Merlin race to the Sodor Search and Rescue Center. When they got there, Flynn was waiting. Hello, Thomas. What are you doing here? Merlin has an invisible cargo that he has to take to the museum, but it fell into some mud. So could you use your water jets to wash it off? Please? Sure thing. There you go, all clean. Thanks, Flynn. No problem, Thomas. Now let's hurry to the Sonar Museum. So Thomas and Merlin race to the Sodor Museum. When they got to the museum, Sir Topham Hatch was cross. Merlin, you have caused confusion and delay. But, sir, but, but... Now, but, Merlin, after what I saw today, I can't let you come to the island of Sodor again. But, sir... What is it, Thomas? It wasn't Merlin's fault. Mrs. Cow got in the way, which made the cargo get all muddy, so we had to get it out of the mud, then wash it off. Then we raced here as fast as possible. I see. I guess I can give Merlin a second chance, since it wasn't his fault. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. When Merlin got back to the stewards, he couldn't wait to tell everyone his adventure. So, how was it, Merlin? Did anything exciting happen? Did you see Thomas? What about James? Did you get lost? Calm down, calm down. I'll tell everyone about it once everyone is listening. It started when I got to Brandom Ducks. And so, Merwin told everyone his adventure on Sodor, and he lived happily ever after.